Don't worry. Let's have a picture of
Um, yeah, if you have nothing. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, I don't know what. what is that? Is that? Is she has five right now. Yeah. yeah. You did five? No, 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 no. Okay. okay. So. Doesn't get shit on the Okay. okay, this is our uh, platform, one, uh, feature 1008. It's in the northwest corner of the building, and it uh, exists only in the very first uh, phase of the building in, on the first floor. Later on, it uh, disappears. And what we can see in the very northern, on the very northern edge of that platform is uh, a number of interesting features. One is this ledge, the plaster ledge that's coming out of the north wall that is uh, plastered on the side and on the top and it's connected to the wall and we don't know what the function of it was. Then we have this uh, wall overhang in that same area and it's also plastered on this end. There is no plaster down here, there is only brick. And then the plaster continues further down. But the plaster actually might have gone all the way here because there is a little bit of plaster in that end indicating that it could have been plastered all over like that. And then this ledge continues into there is something here, a little corner thing, and then the regular wall plaster continues. Now this is all interesting especially because right at this point where there is this corner edge ledge ends and normal wall begins, we have the beginning of the slumping of the floors and that is because uh, most likely the cut that was done on the north wall in the floors in this phase was began here, right here, where that corner is and went then around the, the post and further east along this north wall. And right here in that very corner we find remains of a horn and another animal bone. Uh, the horn is damaged, but the fact that it was here, right in the plaster, indicates that it might have been originally part of a relief or some figure set up here on the wall. And then when the cut uh, was made, if it was made to retrieve that whole thing, this, this is what remained on the floor. So then these floors, the platform floors here, are all slumping down, and the platform edge is missing completely here. The edge that would have gone like that probably ended up here in the wall, or maybe in the front of the post. post. Um, and the, the floors are very interesting in this area. They're made of heavy white clay, but they're also heavily um, the heavily, how would I say, worn down. And this is then the area where in the next floor, on the next floor level, already in phase one of the building, we have one bin built in the very, very corner. And later on the platform floor uh, is, the platform is lost and it, it, it's not visible as platform anymore. Okay, that's that corner. Now Ruth can make some of her observations about that. Yeah. Slava, Slava suggested that uh, 
The floor that we are missing right here on top of this platform, we are seeing now the, plus, the packing mostly. We have a little bit of the floor up towards the edge of the platform preserved, but rest of it is really the packing okay. under the floor. And um, uh, so, so I suggested that that might have been because it was uh, scraped off the floor, the plaster of the floor was scraped off in prehistory. So what is the idea behind that? Uh, that, that they might have used that they might have used the floor plaster uh, to plaster something else, and they didn't need. Well, they obviously wanted to put something on top of that, so they just scraped the floor and used the plaster for something else, maybe, or for some other reason they wanted that zone there to be cleaned off plaster. But then later, uh, but, but then what they did is they, if they scraped it off, they immediately after that built another floor. People, we are recording here. Uh, they immediately built another floor on top of it, which meant another packing and another white plaster. So scraping off one in order to put another one. Yeah, but if it's worn, if it's worn out and uh, Presumably they had, they had smooth floors, smooth plaster floors everywhere in the house. Mm -hmm. So they didn't want their floor to be as crumbly as that, and as patchy as that one. So that's why I thought. But mm. okay. That concludes our discussion of platform 1008 for now. We'll continue later when we see what's under this packing. If there could be a, a foundation burial down there. Okay. Let me show you something. Um, this here. Sir? Just, it's just this part here. 8562. Oh, wait till we. Why are you laughing? When you get that measurement, can you go up to him and get him quietly? Sure. You have a very big voice. Sir? Okay, um, so what I want to show you is this, the interface between platform 170, which goes up here, and platform 173, going here on the earliest floor. And you can see the red packing under the earliest floor, number 11 on 173, that it forms the, it builds up here, forms the lip between the two platforms and continues to about here, so that in fact my conclusion here is that platform 173 is the first one that's built, and then platform 170 is built up against it. Okay, that's that. This is in um, platform 173. Can we turn off the music? Oh yeah. point out here the difference this we've got the main platform um, 173 here going all the way along here and um, over the, in the east side next to the eastern wall we can see that the whole thing has collapsed into that hole over there and um, in fact it's it's also sort of perhaps lower here for some reason much lower, it's about 13 centimeters lower than it is over here on the west side, the northwest side where it's much higher. So before this co collapse, you can see the cracking and collapsing starting even here in the middle of the platform. And it's always been doing that from quite several floors up. Um, it continued to do that. But right from the earliest one, it cracked all the way down into the northeast corner. And this, but this side here, remained upright and here this is a cut this is the actual cut but this is not a cut this is actual collapse 
and I've never known why why there's such a discrepancy between this uh, west side and the east side. Why didn't this? Why didn't it all collapse in a kind of nice slope? And um, I still don't really know, but I think it may have something to do with this big blob, block of very hard, bricky soil here, which may in fact represent some kind of an underlying wall. So that's what I wanted to show here. <clears throat> oh, that's it. That's it. Mm -hmm.
Okay, so here we are in the kitchen, and uh, we are, the floors are removed in this southern part. We are on top of the midden, but we can see uh, this uh, indentation here that was made in the midden itself for the fr very first oven that was built in this area. And uh, because it was very difficult to follow the floors uh, in the kitchen, there were many uh, slips of plaster put at different times and one on top of the other and so it wasn't it was difficult to sequence it with the other uh, floors in the building uh, we are not completely sure but we are fairly sure actually that this oven which is our feature 778 and the earliest phase uh, was most likely on the first floor in the building so we would have had this oven and the oven in the southwest corner of the building uh, used at the same time. Um, okay, and then, and then here, this is the ex origin. This is the extent 
No, this is not the original extent of this feature, but this is uh, the feature 792 also lying on top of the middle right here. And then we can see the floor in this entry area being uh, put on the middle directly. And including the entry step, our feature 10, 1010, also, we can see that it was put on top of the midden, at least this part of it. Then we'll see how it goes further that way when we remove the floor. Um, and then, Ruth, in this area where you are, uh -huh. there is what? There are some remains of a floor like surfaces. No, I don't know what it was, yeah. It's, uh, or just hardened. Sort surface, of maybe. Kind of plaster. It is a sort of, mm -hmm. I don't know, so, so plaster. It's hard it to tell. could be yeah. that on top of the yeah. midden, the, this was the uh, area that was used because we know that the, in the midden, the midden was not just a rubbish pile, it was also an area where a lot of activities yeah. went on. And it could be that in this area there was an um, area for some. It has a definite activity. boundary. And uh, it isn't in here, this this half at all, it's all in, over there. Yeah, and then the floor, the first floor was put on top of that. So that's not the first floor, that's really, that really belongs to the middle itself. Right. Exactly. It seems. Yeah, I would say it's so different. Okay. Did you have this bench, you had this bench thing, right? Yeah. yeah. And then uh, we removed... <laughs> We, we've removed the floor on the oven, feature 10, uh, 1008, no, it's not, it's 1011. So the floor is gone and what we can see now, it's the foundation, it's the base of this oven and it's all this uh, typical sticky uh, light brown clay. Um, very thick, very compact, very clean. We don't see very many inclusions in it. We always see a little bit of salts, maybe calcium carbonate, but salts mostly. We still see the, the remains of the original rim, a bit of it burned here, and then this rim that was not burned, a nice uh, curve that the floor made for it, and this front lip or little step where the mouth of the oven was here on this side, definitely. And another thing that we see a little more now is this, is this, um, the, the, probably the extent, the top, the substructure part of the oven that went like that. And then here, this interior, and the exterior could have been this line. And then going all the way into the wall and disappearing here in the wall. And so it is slightly cut into the wall as was typical for the ovens. So that's that. And that is that. That is that. And this one, did we talk about this? And this feature 780, phase 5, uh, was much longer than later in this early phase. And probably narrower because its original extent would have been up to here. And later on the upper floors we had a little more roundish shape. And they were shorter this way because there was another basin in that area. And so it was right on this floor. It had nice rim, and it was attached to the wall plaster here, and here to this wall scar, a plaster scar. Okay, you can go on your own now. Hey, Blada. Blada.